the metaverse. What's your take on the metaverse, man? I'm, everyone's telling me buy some land, buy, go buy mana, go buy some sand, go get some, buy some real estate and park it next to Snoop Dogg, let people build on it. All these technologies are all working with each other. So you have cryptocurrencies and long-term digital assets like Bitcoin and stuff. People hold their, keep their money in Bitcoin. It's a large, you know, 43% market dominance or whatever. And people are keeping their, you know, billions and billions long term and have publicly set on keeping this amount of money. So what happens is these stable coins are launched and these different companies are launching. They have their treasuries in Bitcoin and they back their stable coins with Bitcoin treasuries like Tether and things like that, that operate on all these other blockchains, largely Bitcoin backed treasury. Uh, but it creates liquidity for all these other ecosystems to thrive. It gives it gives liquidity to all these other uh, blockchains like Tron and everything like that. You bootstrap it all. And so what happens is that translates into these NFT things that you can have price cover, but it also translates into the future of this like metaverse. But metaverse is just a larger part of the web 3.0 as we as we know it. And if people want to kind of understand, oh, how, do, how can I tell the difference of like the web 3.0 versus the web 2.0? Well, I say this, if you if you interact with a business or a company or a blockchain ecosystem or something, and it's not building on top of the internet today, it's they're launching their own main nets, their own blockchains, their own rails, and they're building the next, you know, whatever the next thing is, whatever it's metaverse, like you said, buying land, decentral land, uh, uh, um, there's a, a sandbox games. You have like GameFi. If they're building out all these new technologies uh, on top of these ecosystems, that is the future. So the metaverse may not be like a Ready Player One style interaction that we see it today, but the metaverse will be another shift of how we all uh, act and interact with the internet on a day-to-day -day basis. And that means like digital mortgages or actually buying, owning a McDonald's in one of these games. Because if you own, why would I buy a franchise? Why would I spend $100,000 on a franchise that if, that the video game company can just make more of, make more land in the game to suit their own financial gain? However, if you have a decentralized world launched where where it's governed by all the token holders of that, of the land, like Decentraland or something like that. And the future of this land is decentralized in a way that if you own a McDonald's, you own the McDonald's and no one else or whatever the burger chain you want to own, no one can take it from you. And all these avatars that want to have these uh, uh, meetings, you know, if you have a board meeting, a you want to go have it in a metaverse McDonald's in the game. You want to be able to hang out with your friends and maybe have a, not a virtual cheeseburger, but it just creates another setting where you could be doing this podcast and you're going to have to pay that place some money. So that will become future assets. Instead of buying a piece of land on main street or a building, you may want to buy a piece of land on a digital main street. And the ability for, you know, if you want to buy a building on Main Street right now, it's a very, it's not, you don't just have to have the money. You have to know the people. You have to, you have to be part of a certain social class. You've got to be in the club, things like that. But with digital real estate, you can be the guy who cleans up the sewers in Mumbai, in, in Delhi, you know, India somewhere. And you can still have the same equality of be able to get the same land as anyone else living any other place it doesn't matter social class you know race color of your skin whatever you sexual or anything you want to believe or whatever it doesn't matter it, that will come I, that's how i really think you know i joke to people i say this, this whole thing is going to bring about world peace and we got we joke but i mean it's doing it <laughs>